Hey, I'm Justin Metcalf. I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a dad, I have two daughters. Uh, I'm a farmer, I'm a millwright. I grow a lot of heirloom grains on land that my family's been on for seven generations, almost 200 years we've been in this area. Uh, my millwright experience comes from growing up listening to my dad talk about going to the mill with my grandpa when he was a boy. and. He would tell me about, you know, sticking his hand under the meal spout and catching that cornmeal coming out and it's warm and just the feeling of love that he gave there to me is what instilled that in me and got me interested. And I've been interested ever since. I've uh, had the opportunity to build uh, a water mill from the ground up, a hydro powered wa water mill that grinds grain. Uh, I've done a lot of smaller projects all over the southeast. Uh, I totally restore, rebuild old antique milling equipment, grain mills, all kinds of equipment. Uh, I dress millstones and I also build mills. Uh, farming is part of my background that's just a lot of who I am. I, my family has always grown a lot of their food, and I always have. Uh, also, uh, I grow a lot of heirloom corn for milling. It goes along with my work, so I always say you gotta grow it before you can grind it. Uh, grow a lot of uh, other things, vegetables, beans, tomatoes, all kinds of things like that. I also grow sugar drip sorghum cane. Uh, that is, it's kind of like a corn plant. It's a big grass plant, but it's uh, harvested in the fall and it's crushed in a cane mill to render the juice out of it. And that is filtered and boiled down to make sorghum syrup. Also, we use the grain head off of the plant uh, for milling. It makes a nice, you know, it can be added to breads and things like that, and it makes a really nice grain to add into some things. Okay, this is one of the fields I grow behind me here. I have some Hickory King corn. Uh, it's an heirloom corn, open pollinated. It gets really tall. It's a nice big white grain. It can be used for milling, corn meal or grits. It's got a really good flavor. Also, we make hominy out of it. That's a process that you'll see on a later video. I've grown this variety of corn since I was about 14 years old. And I've had this seed ever since then. Uh, over here, this is the sorghum uh, that I grow. It's sugar drip is the variety. If you're not familiar with sorghum, the plant is a big grass, it grows tall and the fall will come in when it's ready, strip all the fodder, all the leaves off, and you'll just have a stalk there. And we will cut that, crush it in a cane mill, render out the juice, it'll get filtered and boiled down into sorghum syrup, and it's really delicious. Had a lot of compliments on our sorghum syrup. And the grain head on that at the top will be used for milling as well. If you'll notice, I've got a space between my corn and my sorghum cane. Also, four rows over another space, four rows over another space. What I'll do at the right time, I'll come back in these spaces and I'll, I'll sow buckwheat. And what that does, when the buckwheat is mature and it blooms, it attracts insects that are predators of the sugar cane aphid. A sugarcane aphid comes in and storms and it'll cause you a lot of damage on your sorghum cane. It gets on there and it just sucks the juice out. Little vampires. But we'll plant the buckwheat in between. It'll come up mature, get nice and white with blooms and those predator bugs swarm in there. Not to mention your honeybees. They'll also be really happy with you. Uh, this year I'm going to try something new. Most of the time the buckwheat just is mostly for the bees as well as you know attracting the predators of the sugarcane aphid this year i'm going to come in with my pull behind combine and try harvesting the buckwheat so that's going to be 
that's gonna be a first but it's gonna be an interesting crop it's something that i've uh never processed before never milled before a lot of people are interested in it i'm looking forward to doing some experiments and there's already some uh ingenuity that's gonna have to go in it because the buckwheat it has to be hulled and that's kind of a tricky process so i'm looking forward to figuring that process out and you'll see it hopefully thinking about my life i've loved it you know i grew up in these mountains and these hills and hollers and you know i've really enjoyed it and i've come to realize not everybody's had that experience in their life i want to share my life with you things i do on a daily basis and i have done my whole life uh, i'm very fortunate to and blessed to be where i am i'm seventh generation to live here in these mountains and work this ground i realize not everybody gets to have a connection like that and you know what the good things i have i want to share with you and i hope you know that's helpful to you